love vacations. Are we there yet? Oh, hon, we've only gone this far. We're going all the way to a foreign country, Canada. Canada? That's right, Bobbo. Our fine neighbors to the north. <laughs> ah, Canada. It's like a different world. And let me tell you, I've been looking forward to this vacation since... Well, well since my last vacation. Vacations sure are great. <laughs> Ew, whose socks did you eat? Ah, you're right, Howard. Uh, seven days of just kicking back, relaxing, and fishing. Now that's a vacation. Oh, yeah, a vacation for you guys won't be any vacation for me. I'll still be cooking, washing, cleaning without modern conveniences, don't you know? <sighs> this is, like, totally hectic. Can we, like, go back home now? Why do I have to leave George for a whole week? Young lady, you can spend one week with your family. Yeah, I have to spend my whole life with you people. I don't want to go either. <sighs> Why don't you want to go? You give me one good reason, young man, that you don't want to go. This better be good. Well, um, because... Good answer! Let's see if it's on the board. Show me because! Oh, good answer! Good answer! You know what time it is? Time for noogies? <laughs> right! Time for noogies! Oh, <laughs> this is for so you! <laughs> you know, kids, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. This isn't just camping out in the backyard. This is the big time. This is camping in the great north woods. My hair. <laughs> this came for you today. <laughs> camping is fun. That's the spirit, Bobby. Nothing like getting up at dawn. Who's dawn? And digging up night crawlers. What are those? Baiting them on hooks, drilling in those bass, gutting them. Oh, you're going to do that, Howard. Yes, sirree. And eating them fresh off the hook. Now, everybody, doesn't that sound like fun? Fun? I don't even know what you're talking about. Vacations are one of the few times kids are allowed to eat in the car. Clam Oh, Howard, do me a favor and don't talk with your mouth full. Okay, we're here at the Canadian border. About time. Yeah, what took so long? Ah, smell that! Canadian air! Oh, that's not canted in the Indian air, Uncle Ted. That's Roger. <laughs> wow. I've never been to a foreign country before. Come on in. Come on in. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Hey, hey. Whoa. Welcome to Canada. Bienvenue au Canada. Huh. Now, now, no need to get nervous, eh? Gotta ask you a few questions, eh? I have just a couple of questions for you, eh? Now then. Are you all citizens of the U.S. of A.A.? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Born yeah. Raised, yeah. Uh... Well, I'll take that as a yes, then. And what about you, young man? Are you a citizen? Me? Uh, I'm a generic. So, young man, for what reason are you entering Canada? Eh? Boy, this better be good. What reason? What, what reason? Okay, little shaver. Drum roll, please. Here's the top five reasons people enter Canada. Number five, find out where Canadian bacon comes from. Number three, didn't notice a sign, thought it was still part of the U.S. Hey, Bobby, what happened to number four? I'm not really good at counting it. Number two, I've never seen a beaver up close. Number four, get a moose for Kelly's hair. <laughs> Number one reason to enter Canada is going camping. Oh, super! That's right. Good, 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 good reason. Some camping. of the best reasons, bar none. You I bet. Ever heard. Welcome to Canada. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Bienvenue au Canada. Yeah, this is living. Back to nature. Fresh air. No civilization. We're camping at the very place your mother and I had our honeymoon. Huh. It was just the two of us. Nature was unspoiled. The thick woods surrounded a beautiful, pristine lake. And not another person was in sight. It's not like I imagined it. OK, everybody, move your stuff into the tent. It's getting dark. Boy, Martha, isn't this great? 
Our first whole night together as a family with no TV. Did you say no TV? We're just going to have fun, okay? Can't you have fun without TV? No! Yes. Yes, you can. It's a chance for the family to bond, to get together, to tell story, to pass on family tradition. So tonight, we're going to sit around the campfire and reminisce. About the, about the great times this family has had together and, and all that kind of stuff. Okay. What's reminisce? Oh, uh, uh, may I go first? I have one. <laughs> oh, here now. It was so funny. Remember when we were remodeling the kitchen and half the house was covered in plastic? Oh, oh. Yeah, and Bobby wandered into the kitchen. Oh, I fell in a trap, kiddo. <laughs> and then he couldn't find a way back out of the plastic. That's not how I remember it. It was Washer. He was being attacked by the plastic monster. And, and, and Captain Squash and I rocketed into the kitchen. And I, and I hired the plastic monster. Hired! <laughs> wow, I love that story, Bobbo. <laughs> It was better than your mom's version. You're a natural-born storyteller. You think so? <gasps> I got another one. Did I tell you the one about the time the cowboys and the bad guys came into my room and they... Okay, okay there. Now that's enough. Time for bed. Bobby, you better go to the bathroom before you go to sleep. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Where is it? Well, it's, it's over there. <gasps> Ew, get real. No way. Yeah, Zooks! Oh, here, Bob. Don't be afraid. It's only an outhouse. Uh, I... I don't have to go anymore? Come on, Bobbo, I'll go with you. <laughs> get it? Go with you. <laughs> Ah, this is, this is what I remember. The simple life, back to nature. Yeah, are you kids gonna be all right? Sure, it's a little scary, but we'll manage. I hate camping out. Me too, I gotta sleep next to this smelly little dweeb. Yeah, well, you got the cooties. Uh, sorry, Roger. Pumped iron. <laughs> well, a uh, couple of uh, five, six years now. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, you look Boy, like <laughs> things really change so fast. Bobbo, a couple of pros are going to show you how to catch some bass before breakfast. Yes, <clears throat> sir. Nothing like uh, the thrill of battling a perch, or or the the excitement of uh, reeling in a, a rainbow trout. Excitement! Welcome to the wide world of fishing. Spanning the globe to bring you the greatest in sport fishing. From deep sea fishing. To fly casting. To spear fishing. And ice fishing. There's nothing as thrilling and exciting as perch fishing. Dad, you 
said fishing was supposed to be thrilling and exciting. Shh! Bobby, just enjoy being outside, the sunshine, the, the warm summer air. There's only one thing that can spoil a camping trip, Bobby, and that's rain. I'm turning into Leona Helmsley. Okay, I got another game. I'm thinking of a number from one to ten. We did that. Big deal. Okay, okay, here's one. How about I'm thinking of a smell? Oh, Ted, that's not suitable. suitable. Now what? I know. We could tell more stories about the family, like the time I first met your mother. Yeah, sure. Oh boy. Not. <laughs> yeah, like totally. Hey guys, remember when Bobby went to get his first? Haircut. Oh, no. Oh, oh, relax, son. This isn't going to hurt. No. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bobby was so scared of kindly old Mr. Ajax. That's not how I remember it. Uh, I'll relax, son. This isn't going to hurt. No! The barber was Edward's slipper hand. Wow, now that's a sculpture. Uh-huh. Good one, Bobby. <laughs> I told you, Bobby tells the best stories. Why are all the stories about me? Because you do stupid things, Dweepster. <laughs> Derek. Because you're the baby and you're the sweetest. Mom, I'm going over to Pete and Donnie's. Is it just me, or is like this boring? Gary invited me over to his family's tent. Derek's playing with his new friends. Kelly's with her new boyfriend. What is there for me to do? Hey, Bobbo, want to meet some real Canadians? Real Canadians? Wow, people from another country. Yeah! You know, Bobby, when you visit a foreign land, it's important to learn as much as possible about the natives so you don't offend them. Come on in, eh? Yeah, no need to wipe your feet, eh? Oh, wow. God, that's a stain. Bobby, meet the Mooseheart brothers from Newfoundland. Glad to meet you there, Bobby, eh? Yeah, yeah, so... Is this your little hoes or nephew, eh? Are you real Cantonians? Yeah, the genuine article, eh? Yeah, we go to cottages in the summer, eh, and love to camp. Hey, you here for the UFO convention, too, eh? Uh, <laughs> uh well, not exactly. <laughs> too bad, eh? This is like prime UFO territory, eh? Oh, uh, well, we're here for the camping. And Uncle Ted thought you could teach me how to be Canadian, Jameson. <laughs> well, yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> yeah, sure. No problem, eh? Do you like maple syrup, eh? Yeah. Well, do you like hockey, eh? Uh, yeah. Shot and a goal, eh? Yeah, beauty. Well, heck, that's about it, eh? All you gotta learn to say is A, eh? Huh? No, not huh. A. Huh? No, A. Yeah, like your like your ears are plugged, eh? Or like you're thinking about something else. A, you know, A, get it? A. Ooh, ooh. No, A, like in stain. Yeah, like the A in stain is mainly from the wet pain, eh? Get it, eh? A! Hey, by Jove, I think he's got it, eh? Hey, congratulations, Bobby. You'd even pass for a Canadian Mountie, eh? A Canadian Mountie? Sergeant Bobby of the Yukon and his trusty dog, Roger, were hot on the trail of the world's most notorious litterer, Garbage George. Mush, mush, Roger. We must stop Garbage George before he spoils the wilderness, eh? <laughs> A mountie always gets his man, eh? Oh, 
back their hat and get back to the tent. Okay. Thanks for teaching me how to be a Cantadian. Our pleasure, little hose ray. Yeah, just remember what we taught you. Eh? Derek, do you want to go swimming? Not with you, dork. I'm going with Pete and Donnie. Kelly, do you want to go swimming? Get real. I'm going with Gary. But I need a buddy. Hon, since we're leaving soon, I'll watch you. Yay! Ish. You never know what's on a lake bottom. Mommy! The lake mess monster has me! Bobby, Hunt, there's no such thing as the Loch Ness monster. You just feel the mud that's on the lake bottom. <laughs> See you, Bobby, eh? Yeah, come back to Canada anytime, you little hoser, eh? Can't we stay longer? I want to go play with Pete and Donnie. Yeah, like, I don't want to leave Gary. We've only been together a week. Will you stop that? Honestly, you two exasperate me. You were the ones who didn't want to come in the first place. Father knows best. Okay, now, come on. Take come care, on. Keep going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Anything to declare? Kelly has a new boyfriend. Derek was throwing stones in the lake. And I. It was all like donuts better than declares. <clears throat> Are you bringing anything back from Canada, eh? Ooh, I hope they don't look in the cargo area. I bought some souvenirs. Ted! May I ask as to what exactly you were doing in Canada, eh? I sat on a boat and I went to a bathroom in an outhouse. I told stories about myself and stepped on a lake mess monster. It was as big, well, well it, was, it was this big. Anyway, it was fun, eh? Hockey hosers! <laughs> did he say hockey hosers? He said it. I'm I sure heard he him. did. Yes. Bobby, where did you learn to speak like that? <laughs> you should have said you were friends of the Mooseheart Brothers, eh? Yeah! yeah. Go on! Go on! <laughs> Beat it! Come back soon! Returnez-vous to tweet! Don't be a stranger! Les ne stranger, n'est-ce pas? <laughs> Thanks, Bubble! <laughs> I was just acting like a Cantadian! Dad? What? Dad? What? How long until we get home? Bobby, we just started home! I know. <laughs> Wow! Now that was a great show, eh? Not only did I travel to a beautiful foreign land, but I can now speak another language. Well, it's a tell you. I can spell Canada in Canadian. What's the name? Left. C A N A D A. You get it? Eh? <laughs> now it's time to say goodbye. Oh. Bye.